Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you for clicking on our video today. This is going to be a short video, hopefully to help the folks that have smart home panels or are getting the smart home panel. This is the EcoFlow smart home panel. And what I'm going to show you today is how do you switch from grid power to the smart home panel, right? As you know, we've got this connected to 10 of our circuits. And how do you utilize those Delta Pros and the Delta Pro batteries that you got? Well, that's what I'm going to cover today. So why don't we get started? Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, guys. So just keep in mind, this video is made if you've already got your smart home panel set up, you've already got your one or your two infinity cables, right? Because these connect to the side of each of the Delta Pros. As you can see, one Delta Pro, two Delta Pros, and then this Delta Pro has a battery connected, and this Delta Pro has a battery connected, all right? So as long as you are there, then the information I will give you should help. Let's go. So I'm going to start off by telling you I am receiving solar power to this set. All right. I've actually got solar wires coming from the outside MC4 directly connected to this Delta Pro, which is now going to charge these two devices. All right. And so I'm going to leave that and I'm going to charge my Delta Pros while these devices are powering the majority of my home. Now, after you've got this and this connected, okay, as long as you've got your infinity uh, cables connected, your panel's all set up, what you want to do is come over to the panel and you want to turn on set number one, turn on set number two. You can now set automations or have specific circuits use your batteries. Now, before we take a look at the app, I'll just show you that I've got two 400-watt panels here by EcoFlow, and I've got two 160-watt panels. And what's nice is the Delta Pro can handle 150 volts of solar. So I've got these guys connected in series, which is really easy, but again, you want to make sure you're staying within the voltage range, and we are, because these are about 48 volts each. And these are about 21.4 volts each. So we're definitely within that 150 volts. And here is the PVC that we actually had passed through into the basement that you saw a little while ago. When we're done, we disconnect these and we simply close that up. All right, so here is the EcoFlow app and we put it on an iPad so it can be a little bigger for you. Now, we've got our smart home panel here and we've got our Delta Pro and our Delta Pro 2 there, okay? Now again, what's cool is we're actually charging solar and we're gonna be turning this on in a little while to actually be powering all 10 circuits, the majority of our home. So let's click in to the smart home panel. All right, it takes a second, and it shows today so far we've used 2.7 kilowatts. Now, when you look at this app, this is basically the power coming from the grid. And this is your home. And down here are your Delta Pros. Now, currently, they're not feeding, right? You would see feeding. So we're going to turn that on. We're going to show you how that works. Now, I will show you reporting real quick. But the goal in today's video is not showing reporting, but more about how do you turn the power on 
so that your batteries are feeding specific circuits or all 10 circuits. So here's reporting. And you can see here your home, your power station, and your grid. Now, when you're using power, you could switch to weak, which we have not used the power stations this week so far. But if we switch to month, you'll see there were certain days that we used the power station to actually, you know, power our home. And we've used 39.38 kilowatts of battery power station. Now, what's cool about that is we actually charge the batteries using solar. So this is actually helping us reduce the cost of electricity. All right. If you go to grid, you'll see here, if I go into the month, this is the month. Again, this is not this month. This is just July 4th to August 3rd. We've used 208.37 kilowatts. All right. Now, this is only through those 10 circuits, keep in mind. The smart home panel is connected to these 10 circuits, and it basically will keep an eye on these 10 circuits. So let's move forward. All right. So let's back out of reporting now and do what you want us to do here. So how do you look at your circuits to see what they're using? You just click this button here. This is going to show your circuits and it's going to show what your circuits are using. Like the, the master bedroom is currently using 170 some odd watts. We've actually got a fan in the attic that uses some wattage to keep the attic cool. Um, basement zero, etc. So you, you name these by the way. All right. And maybe we'll covering, we'll cover name these later on, but Let's go out and now let's go into how you switch over. So let's start off by how do I manually switch one circuit to the batteries? Well, that's not hard at all. Click the center and you'll see here that the master bedroom is using 200 Watts right now. If I click on this, you'll notice that there's an auto mode. And if you turn off auto, it then gives you an option to use grid power or use the power station. Okay. So that's one way. And let's do that for a second. So use power station. All right. And as you can see here, the lights turned off and on real quick to, to do that switch. Now let's go down for a second. And you'll see here that Delta Pro number two is the one that's being used. Okay. And uh, it is actually sending power output 211 watts input from the battery it's connected to, by the way. I'm not sure if that's solar. I'll check in a minute. All right. But as you can see, it's outputting 213 watts because we, we asked it to. But yet the grid is still feeding the home. So that's how you select one circuit. Now keep in mind, we have, as you can see, the one circuit being powered by batteries. And the rest of these are white because they're being powered by the grid. All right. You can go in and select specific circuits that you want to be powered by the batteries. All right. Now let's go ahead and show you how to create an automation. Let's go ahead and create our automation. So we're going to go over to the sliders and we're going to go ahead and hit plus. And now you could see here that we can actually have this repeat if we want, but we're going to leave that alone. We're going to go in and choose our date range. So I'm going to hit start date, scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm going to leave that as August 3rd, 2022 hit. Okay. And then I'm going to go back up choose my end date again, go down and just choose August 5th. So we're going to do two days. We're going to hit confirm. And now our dates are in there, which is good. Now, do we want this to repeat daily? Do we want it to repeat weekly or monthly? We can do that, but we're not going to. Okay. Now we want to add our time range. So we're going to hit the plus sign. And this is really simple. It was confusing initially, but you leave zero, zero, and you leave this zero, zero, and watch what happens. It's military time. 
we now have that 24 hour period in there. So for the third, the fourth and the fifth, as long as there's battery power, this automation will run. And when the batteries die, it'll automatically switch back to the grid. As you can see here, a part of this automation says, with these days and this time, what do you want to have happen? So this automation will trigger switch to battery backup. That's what that is. And now I want you to see all of our circuits. And all we do is select all. Or if there's one that you don't want to be a part of this automation, you can uncheck that. But we're going to check it. All right. So let's go ahead and hit save. And then we'll take a look at how the power is being used right now. So there's our automation right here on the bottom with a power button. And if I want to turn this automation off, I can hit that power button. Let's go back. And now I want you to see no power being used by the grid. The Delta Pro 2 is the current setup that's powering the home. Okay. And you can click here and you'll see Currently, we're outputting 486 watts. We're inputting 572, which I believe is the, ba the battery that's connected to it. But we're going to connect solar to this. So it's going to charge this one while it's being used. Because I believe our solar is connected to our other Delta Pro. So let's get out of this here. So now, if we click into the center, it'll show... And all 10 of these circuits are blue because they're being powered by batteries. And there's even a battery symbol. Okay. And so that is how you switch one circuit over to batteries, like we showed you earlier. And that is how you simply create an automation. All right. So let's talk a little bit about behaviors. Okay. Now, as you can see here, uh, we turned on both of these on the smart home panel, right? And so that indicator of the two greens will show you that. But what happens is, from our experience, what it does is it actually drains one set. And after it's done, it'll switch to this set. Now, what I don't like is this set stays on. If this set lasts me a day, a day and a half, this set stays on and it'll slowly drain itself. So what I usually will do is I will turn off this set to save the battery. So I turned off one. And then what I'll do is I'll turn this set off so that this battery set doesn't drain. It's just the reality. We are receiving solar here and we're also powering the house. Now you can see here, input 560 some odd watts of solar, output 520 to power the 10 circuits. I mean, it's pretty cool stuff, right? And you're not gonna find a lot of smart home panels. So, you know, we've been using this now for a couple of months and, you know, every day we're learning, but we wanted to share this with you. I, I really hope this was helpful in this short video We'll have more to come. A thumbs up would definitely be appreciated. We sure hope you join the, ch the family by subscribing and share our video. Feel free to share our video with your friends, family, and in chat rooms that you might be in. Thank you. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.